I've got something new to show you guys. Life's a coat of many colors. It is never black and white. And here it is. I got myself a snazzy new desk, and you can only see one cable. So that lovely black and green lit card there. That is getting changed for the GTX 1080 Ti. Yep, that's right. The absolute beast itself. Hey, this must be the new RAM. In, in here is my GT210. I have this because I sold my 980 Ti in preparation for the 1080, but the 1080 is not out yet. It comes out in like a week. And so I'm stuck with the 210 for, well, a week. And so I have to put up with this, which is why it's incredibly hard to edit. I mean, just editing on the timeline alone is bloody laggy as fuck. It's not just the RAM that makes a big difference, it's also the video card. The LEDs just arrived. The cable management sort of rubber things, cable holders just arrived. And so did the tape to mount everything. I'm gonna get this set up and then once I do, I'll show you guys the end result. I am looking hold on, at extended mouse mats because uh, I, I just want one and I want the white one as well. So, the RGB LED lights definitely make this setup. I mean, we've got a nice white, black, and green build going on now. So, that's another step in the setup that is now complete. You're wondering how I did it? My friend Marshall just came around and he dropped off a GTX 770 for the time being until the 1080 comes. The 1080 launched yesterday, and I think I know which one I'm going to get. A um, bit of an update on the actual setup. The speakers have now changed orientation, so it's cleaned up a lot under the desk or under the monitors of the desk. So that looks much better. Um, the 210 is now out. It's gone, eradicated from my PC, and in comes the GTX 770. Right. Okay, so I finally got the 770 to work with my motherboard. For some reason, there was just something wrong with it and it didn't fancy functioning um, or booting. Uh, and then I managed to get into the BIOS by taking out the 770 and putting in the old 210. Managed to boot with that by doing the memo K button. And then I tried the same technique with the 770 and finally it worked and I was able to plug in my 1440p display. So now that I've done that, I can actually start editing again and I can start making videos and it is going to be so much nicer and it is also one step closer to the completion of the setup or at least what it's going to look like anyway. Okay, so I thought I'd decide to uh, clear out my keyboard and um, this is what it sort of looks like bare bones. What I've got here for an unboxing today is the Ergotech Freedom Arm HD. This is going to be going on my Acer XB 270HU.
Okay, so it is finally done. I have the monitor arm set up. I have the lights back up because that took a lot of configuring and tweaking and peeling off and reapplying and oh boy, it was annoying. So another massive problem that I had with my setup was you couldn't see a single wire except for the massive bloody ethernet cable. See how thick this is? Ethernet cable that ran across the floor and plugged into my PC. And you can only see one cable. Everything else was clean apart from this bloody cable. And I said to myself, well, I'm going to buy a new ethernet cable and that is exactly what I have done. Now, I'm hoping this isn't some kind of dildo or something and this is actually an ethernet cable. I just nearly cut my hand off, but who cares? Ethernet cable that is flat, flat as um, a Latina girl's boobs. If you're a Latina girl, which I doubt you are, I'm not sorry. My final piece that I have already unboxed, well not unboxed, but un unpackaged, is this. This is a desktop tripod. It is going to sit right here. And that is how I'm going to do some future unboxings like the GPU unboxing. I got a bit bored of waiting for the 1080 Strix to just be released already. In fact, some dates are even going back as far as September 1st. That's crazy. I'm not waiting until September to get my hands on a 1080 and complete my setup finally. So, I have gone ahead and ordered a GTX 1080 Founders Edition. Um, and hopefully uh, that should do me until the Strix comes out, to which point I will sell that card and get the Strix. This is the second monitor arm for that monitor right there. Um, the first monitor, my main monitor, does have it already set up. Um, and I'm interested to see whether I can um, mount this monitor arm already on the base of that one so it tidies it up a bit. I'm just wanting to know if I have to have two bases instead of one. The second thing we have to unbox is this. This is the Apple iPod Mini 2. Alright, so this is the new audio interface that we have. Um, I've already opened it, so no bothering with any knives or whatever. Um, there's no cables that came with it, but fortunately I already got a 3 meter cable, so it's more than enough room. Um, I'll just collapse this. Now this should provide all of the gain that I need for my future microphone, the Shure SM7B. I have something in my possession that is extremely rare. And no, it is not a white person with a bindi. It is the GTX 1080 Strix. Now, I have been waiting for this card for nearly six weeks now. I ordered it six weeks ago, um, and it never came because stock never came in. Um, and that's really to no surprise with a paper launch. This is the Avamedia CE511HN. Now, it's a bit of a mouthful, but 
What this does is record 4K at 60 FPS. I'm really excited to open this. I've wanted an actual knife for ages now. Um, and now I finally have one. I don't have to use this anymore, which would be good. Perkin. Shout out to Perkin, unless this knife is shit. I'm hoping it's not going to be. I'm really hoping it's not going to be shit. A few things have changed. I bought uh, a TV, I bought um, a TV unit, some LED lights for the whole uh, entertainment setup, and honestly, that's what this whole video is going to be um, mainly based around. Is that the uh, this update is going to be based around the entertainment setup? This TV I've sort of had here for the time being just until I um, get my 4K one, which should be coming uh, this evening. My dad should be dropping it off. Uh, I did get a soundbar for the setup, so that should hopefully improve a lot of things. Um, but yes, uh, so this TV unit I've had for about six, seven years. It's very old, it has an original Xbox One in there. You can tell how old uh, the actual TV unit is because it has a, that's always sort of, well, not always, but that uh, Xbox One has, Xbox, sorry, has just been in there for ages now. See this? See how complicated this shit is? I'm not gonna record this, this is gonna be painful. Right, so I have literally just finished um, my little unit. I mean, obviously, it's. You're, you're looking at the back right now, but it is finished. I did break the drawer. I mean, you can't see that it's broken, but I'm, I think I'm pretty sure I did break it because it's not smooth by any sense of the word. But I'm gonna sort that out tomorrow. I may have to buy a new drawer for it, but I wasn't really planning on using the drawers anyway. It's finally set up. We have everything up and running. All we need to do now is sort out the LEDs and also this HDMI um, little splitter thing. Honestly, I'm very, very happy with the uh, with the TV. Looks great. Um, sound not too great, but doesn't really matter because I got that sound bar, which I oh my god, I picked that up for so cheap. Picked it up for ten quid. Ten quid. It's crazy. But anyway, enough of my jibber jabbering. Let's um, set up the LEDs. the entertainment setup done. There is only one thing left to sort out of everything that has happened today, and that is the GPU. I cannot be bothered to do cinematic shots, and I just want to get this done. I'm going to be doing a bit of a ghetto unboxing here. Seeing it here first, kids. Now, the GPU in question is not a 1080. Yeah, cut towards my leg. Nice one, Dom. It's not a 1080. It is not a 1060. It is, in fact, a GTX 1070. If I'm able to get overclocks that far exceed 
um, even the higher competition, which I'm guessing I will due to the sheer size of the cooler, then we're in for a treat here because this will be a very, very good contender due to its very low price. Break to blow things up. Fucking <laughs> Josh! <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea to this one. <laughs> Call of Duty God and Warfare. Hey, Moss. You right? Come on, Moss. Come on. So the setup is finally done. Well, not exactly. <laughs> I thought I would add one last thing to this video, and uh, the one last thing that I decided to add was a PC upgrade. I got a new case, um, you can actually currently see it behind me, uh, it's the Fantex N3 Evolve, um, but moving to a new case meant I needed to build myself a brand new PC, and I decided to add um, some new LED lights, I got some new fans. Um, and eventually I'll be adding a PCIe SSD. There's just some th some things in there that you haven't actually seen in like a live PC build before. I also had my girlfriend helping me out with this build. It's her first time she's ever built a PC um, and to be honest, you know, she she did well. So, I'm quite proud of her and you know, if you're watching this, well done. <laughs> uh, you have not disappointed. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to, uh, if you want to see the full video of us building the PC together, then um, I will make that at some point. But for now, I'll just show you the highlights. So, yet again, here is another one.
So the setup is finally done. Now originally this whole video was supposed to be a uh, 3000 subscriber special and then I hit 4000 subscribers so I thought I'd make it a 4000 subscriber special. And then I kept making changes to my setup and one thing led to another and after two more months um, we are where we are now um, at 6 6.6k. Really I should make this a 7000 subs special. I guess I'll decide which one <laughs> a bit later on. But um, if you were to tell me back in 2013 that I would have a channel with 7000 subscribers, over 1.3 million views channel wide, and um, all of this to surround me and help me with my editing, with my gaming, um, I would tell you, you were barking up the wrong tree, you were absolutely mental. I just wouldn't really believe you, I wouldn't really believe anyone that told me that, because it is insane. The first 2000 subscribers are supposed to be the, uh, the hardest to get, um, and that was quite apparent, because now, in the three months that I've been shooting this video, my subscriber count has doubled, which is crazy if you think about it, from 3000 to over 6000 subscribers, wow. It's a lot. It's a lot of people. And this was because I've never really done a proper special video for a milestone. Um, I thought I'd make this one extra, extra good, which is why um, I didn't upload on Saturday like I usually do. Um, it's because I was working on this video and I want to make this video the best that it possibly can be. You'll notice I also uh, have been using a new camera, um, the Sony a7S Mark II, borrowing it from my college. Um, it is capable of 4K 30fps, but with a little trick up my old sleeve, I got it to um, 4K 60. So a lot of the footage in there for the cinematics is it's really nice. So yeah, the setup is done. No doubt I will add more stuff in future, but for now, thank you so much for watching guys. If you did like that video, then do show your appreciation by tapping that like button. I love your face, and I will see you guys in the next one. Ta-ra.